Buddha Dharma Pure and Simple Four Dharma Realms In Buddhism, everything in the universe, whether principle, spiritual or material, is categorized into Dharma Realms, each having its name, function and boundary. For instance, the six sense organs, six sense objects, and six consciousnesses are collectively known as the 18 realms. Similarly, in the Avatamsaka Sutra, the ways of observing the world are summarized into the four Dharma realms. Number one, realm of phenomena. Everything in the universe including the sun and moon, yin and yang, mountains and rivers, is differentiated in terms of its boundaries. Mountains are not rivers. Likewise, you and I are not the same. As such, all phenomena are distinguished through their different characteristics. For instance, the eyes differ from the ears, and the ears differ from the nose. Tom is not Rick, and Rick is not Harry. Put simply, the realm of phenomena refers to observing the world through phenomenal appearances. Number 2. Realm of Principle Although everything in the universe is phenomenally different, they are of a single thusness in terms of the ultimate truth. The universe is entirely encompassed within the mind. Such is the commonality shared by all. Yet, while phenomena arise from dependent origination and are of one essence, they can still be distinguished by their unique characteristics and appearances. Likewise, everything has its own set of principles. People observe the principles of humanity. Celestial bodies follow the principles of heaven. Feelings arise according to emotional principles. Situations obey the principles of logic. And physical matter abide by the principles of physics. While each have their own set of rules and guidelines, they share a common origin, thusness, our Buddha nature. Observing the world in this way is known as the realm of principle. Number three, realm of non-obstruction between principles and phenomena. Principles and phenomena interpenetrate and do not obstruct one another. In other words, principles are elucidated only through phenomena, and phenomena are explained only through principles. For example, if one were to build a table without the principles of manufacturing, then the end product will not look like a table. Likewise, building a house without a blueprint will prove difficult. Therefore, principles and phenomena are interdependent. Phenomena demonstrate principles, and principles are found in phenomena. This is known as the realm of non-obstruction between principles and phenomena. Number four, realm of non-obstruction between all phenomena. The myriad phenomena, matter, and objects in this world have different aspects, but they are of the same essence, neither contradicting nor conflicting with one another. All phenomena are completely interpenetrative. Hence, there is no need to discriminate one from the other, this from that, or east from the west. Just as Confucianism teaches the oneness of the heavens, the earth, and people, Buddhism further elaborates and explains that all Dharma realms are dependent in origination. 
one and many are not different. Large and small are mutually interfused. All phenomena reflect upon one another in multi-layered inexhaustibility. Such is the realm of non-obstruction between all phenomena. The four Dharma realms, as explained in the Avatamsaka Sutra, provide one with a correct understanding of the universe, that all dharmas originate from the mind. It teaches to let go of attachment, prejudice, opposition, and conflict amid myriad phenomena and a delusive world. Instead, one should observe all principles and phenomena through dependent origination, equality, and harmony. Doing so would be in accord with the fundamental meaning of the four Dharma realms as taught in the Avatamsaka Sutra. Please tune in same time next week as we meet on air.